And welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have four stories for you this week. DJI is ending support for drones and payloads. We're gonna talk about which ones. We have a drone that helps rescue a missing person. Also, we have shots fired at a police drone during a chase. And then lastly, we'll look at a new FPV world record. Let's get to it. And first up, DJI has announced that on January 30th of 2026, they are going to officially end all supports for six of its legacy enterprise products, primarily the Matrice M200 V2, the M210 V2, and then lastly, the M210 RTK V2. Now, this is part of the company's routine product lifecycle management. It's not really a big deal uh, unless, uh, well, you've been relying on this platform for a while. Now, after that date, let's be clear, uh, the drone is not gonna drop off the sky. Uh, there will be more no more technical support there will be no official repairs and no more firmware or compatibility troubleshooting uh, these were actually and they still are uh, the kind of the workhorse for many inspection public safety and surveying teams uh, that happened back in the days i know some companies are still using them as well uh, also on that list is the zenmuse xt and the xt2 thermal cameras and then the lightbridge 2 transmission system which are also going to be retired uh, dji has recommended that users up Upgrade to newer models in order to take advantage of the improved technology and then also of the support. Uh, so if your department or your company is still using the Matrice 200 series, it might actually be time to start thinking about the next upgrade and uh, getting that next drone. Next up, we have a real-world drones for good story. We like those. A drone was instrumental in rescuing a 90-year-old man who had been lost for about 12 hours, they said, in freezing temperatures. Uh, this happened in uh, Atoka uh, County in Oklahoma. After a massive search that involved ground crews and even the National Guard, the Wagoner, I guess that's the way to say it, Wagoner County Emergency Management Team was called in with their drone. The volunteer pilot was Eric Lane. He launched a DJI Matrice 30, and then within just about 15 15 minutes, he was able to spot a clear heat signature in the woods using the thermal camera on the drone. Now he switched to the visual camera in order to confirm and then he was able to see the missing man that who was actually curled up with his dog uh, trying to stay warm. Uh, Lane then used the drone's onboard speaker to let the man know that help was on the way. Uh, this is just a fantastic example again on how thermal cameras are saving lives and then also they're changing search and rescue for the better. So congratulations to Eric and the whole team, That's, uh, that was awesome. And in our third story this week, an incident, this happened in Lee's Summit in uh, Missouri. This highlights both the value and also the growing risk of using drones in law enforcement. According to KCTV, police were responding to reports of a man that was trying to get into lock cars. Uh, in an effort to find them, they were able to launch the drone, and uh, which was also a Matrice 30T, like the last story. Uh, the drone quickly located the man that was walking through a driveway and testing different car handles. The thing is, when the suspect realized that he was being watched from above. He allegedly pulled out a firearm and fired two shots at the drone. Uh, thankfully, he missed and the drone continued its mission. Uh, the live feed allowed the officers on the ground to track the suspect as he was running uh, through different backyards and eventually leading to the arrest. Uh, a canine unit later recovered the stolen 9mm pistol that the uh, suspect had reportedly dropped on the way out. Uh, this case is yet another demonstration, I think, of how drones provide uh, situational awareness for the entire team on the ground and make police work a lot safer. And then finally, we have an FPV world record that has been broken yet again, uh, this time by a significant margin. Uh, this is the team at Drone Pro Hub. They built and flown a custom FPV drone uh, at a verified speed of 374 miles per hour. That's 603 kilometers per hour, uh, which is just insane. Now, to put that in perspective, think about this. That's nearly half the speed of sound. Uh, that's Mach 0.49, Mach 0.49, which is just incredible. The new record smashes the old one uh, that happened just a couple weeks ago, actually. Uh, Luke Bell had the record. He flew a Peregrine 3, which had reached 585 kilometers per hour compared to 603 kilometers per hour hour for this new one. Uh, what's really impressive here is actually the engineering journey building this whole thing. This wasn't just about putting big motors, you know, on a frame. Uh, the engineer was Ben Biggs and then the whole team at uh, Drone Pro Hub, they said they spent 17 months designing this entire drone from the ground up in CAD. 
uh, the first eight months, they've spent it, you know, doing initial testing and uh, some uh, speed runs of 200 and 300 kilometers per hour. Now, the real breakthrough came when they were analyzing the flight data, which revealed that the drone's body itself was creating a lot of aerodynamic drag. So they redesigned it, they slimmed the nose, they smoothed the body a little bit, and then they managed to actually cut out 18% of the drag. And so from there, they were able to start hitting speeds of, you know, 540 kilometers per hour, and then eventually they got to the point where uh, they got 374 miles per hour, which is insane. Uh, now, this might not be practical for most of us, you know, on everyday flights, uh, but there's a ton of lessons learned here about aerodynamics, about vibration, the power system, and then all the different speeds that they hit along the way. So this absolutely could lead to more stable, more efficient drones for everyone down the line. So I think it's a fantastic story of engineering and perseverance. So uh, congrats to the team on doing that kind of stuff. And that's it. We'll see you on Post Flight, which is the premium community show where we talk about, you know, all the stuff that we talk about here, but with the uncensored opinions that not always are uh, suitable for YouTube. So we'll see you there, and then you have a great weekend. A car burglar suspect fires at a police drone. And then runs. And then runs. And then they keep following him. It leads to an arrest, yep. right? Don't be that guy. Well, don't <laughs> try to open cars. <laughs> car doors in the Don't be place. a thief. <laughs> don't be a thief. There's yeah. a few don't bees in there. That's like, like, don't try to break yeah. into cars. Yeah. Maybe don't have a gun and fire at police wait, maybe wait stolen gun as well stolen gun yeah, <laughs> don't steal a gun get it rightfully <laughs>